let's take a look at favorites. Okay. Banner Brothers number two. 82 AD Banner Brothers number two. It's in Purple Heart Lane right now. There's five out of six players in the queue. Uh, it, the queue might be full for a bit. I'll let you know yes. when there's a there's an opening. When there's a four, yeah. Yeah. So it only holds up to five people in the queue. Six people. So there Six are people. Okay, right, right, right. five players in queue before me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you watch anime? I do. I love anime. Okay. I I'm familiar I am very familiar with the genre. I, you know, I grew up with Toonami, uh, with you know Dragon Ball Z, Cowboy Bebop, etc. Uh, but I I never really got into it into it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I never really had a country roll subscription or you know, watch for an obscenely long time, like One Piece or anything. But I am curious, have you heard of this movie called Blue? Oh my god, what the fuck is the name? Hold on. Um it's a manga, of course. Uh, is it is it the one about the magical ocean girl? No, no. Although that, looking that up, I, I understand why you said that. It's like a it's a jazz anime jazz thing. Huh. Anime jazz blue, blue giant. Blue giant. No, I have not seen it. Yeah, it looks over dramatic as shit, uh, but also awesome. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll add that to my list. I've it's been about a, about a young a young saxophone player that wants to make it big in uh, in Tokyo. Oh, uh, four players ahead of me. Try now. Sorry to interrupt you. Let's no, just okay. get you on cue. Server. Oh, it's full. God damn it! Well, it's a popular server, right? Yeah, yeah. Eighty-two AD is a good uh, good server. But continue. Wants to make it big. Wants to make it. I don't. I haven't seen it. It's not a series. Or no, it, it is a series in manga form. But it's a movie, and it's only showing today and tomorrow. So I'll go tomorrow because I think I missed the first showing. Oh, I see. Um, it's like one showing a night, so it's like ah shit. But gotcha. uh, yeah, it looks interesting, and I, you know, I'm, you know, jazz is like I always joke with my friends. Jazz is like half my personality, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I'm always interested. I did see a few episodes of Kids on the Slope. I don't know if you're familiar with that one. Nope. Uh, it's another one. It's kind of a similar plot, although it's, uh, it's a story about a, a kid who finds jazz as opposed to wanting to pursue it actively. Interesting. Uh, that was pretty good. It had a good soundtrack. Okay, good. I'm in queue. There we go. I got three ahead of me. Um, yeah, no. I, I, I've been watching anime ever since I was a kid. Um, I started with... Uh, Dragon Ball before Dragon Ball Z, and mm. then uh, Inuyasha was huge when I was a kid. Pokemon, Digimon. I watched a lot of Inuyasha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, growing up, you know, in Latin America, you can't not be exposed to Dragon Ball when you're a kid. Um, <laughs> but I was also also introduced to Saint Seiya, uh, Knights of the Zodiac. Um, there was some speed racer sometimes on TV, but that was like late at night. Sure. Um, but yeah, no, anime has been with me for a very long time. I really enjoy it. Uh, Emily and I have been watching this uh, this one anime that's on Netflix, uh, Zom One Hundred, also known as Bucket List of the Dead. Is and... this the story about that that uh, you know? Uh office worker who's so who's so fucking overworked that he when the zombie apocalypse comes he's liberated yep yeah it's like he's so happy it's a phenomenal comedy it's super heartfelt um it's, a, it's, it's super like ingenious with the way it portrays everything emily mm -hmm. does not like zombies at all like she's very really a, avert to zombies she she thinks they're really stupid um, oh, oh, okay. Not like scared of it. She just thinks it's the well. It's it, it's it's not scared. She's just grossed out by it. She's like she doesn't like. She's grossed out. Yeah, she doesn't like seeing people like being eaten and that kind of stuff. She's just like I don't. That's not my thing. But the way yeah, Zom... I'm not too big on like that aspect of. It. I know there's some real gore junkies out there. Yeah, uh, maybe even, like video games. But for like other than that, I'm not really into it. So, but I, I just always liked the the setting and the the approach. I like uh, it too. Which there's a million, but yeah. Yeah, I 
I, I used to be a huge fan of The Walking Dead early on, and then I sort of, same. I sort of just let it go, not because also of same. disinterest, but you know, I it, I just had more stuff to do, and then I went back to it, and I was like, oh man, I can't wait to see how things have progressed, and then I'm like, okay, this is this is really silly. <laughs> Like I I I was like so happy that with the with the beginning of it is so good, right? Like mm-hmm. it, it it felt like watching a Project Zomboid playthrough, you know, like yeah, pretty but, much, but in live action, you know, it like it it's people driven to their limit and like trying to find kindness, which still exists in the world despite everything, you know, like yeah, and I don't know, it just sort of lost the thread. People um, said that oh it fell off with the second season with the farm. Like I I was fine with the farm. I was fine with the farm. I was fine even with the prison. Like I I was I was okay yeah. with the prison. And then as soon as we leave the prison, that's when everything just sort really? of fall, okay, falls so apart for me. I was okay through Woodbury, right? That's the town, right? With the government. Yeah, I didn't mind Woodbury. It's just that the, after yeah. the prison, I never, by the, I never read the graphic novel. I'm only the show. I'm sure right. it's good, but I've only watched the show. I've, I, I've, um, I have a lot of good things to say about the graphic novel. Um, uh-huh. Kirkman is really good at you know portraying uh, character emotion. Like it, he's very good at that, but uh, I, it, it suffers from the "it goes on for too long" curse. Yeah, this you is know? an entity. This is a franchise that we have to really milk. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's always like that's the feeling that you get in the back of your mind. It's like okay, we're gonna drag. It's like it's like Dragon Ball, right? <laughs> no, like absolutely, absolutely. The the difference between Dragon Ball Z and The Walking Dead is that even the author is like uh, dragged on for way too long. Um, like Kirkman at no point has ever said that. He 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 thinks that it's fine, and I'm I, you know whatever he wants to to believe he's the author um i'm just glad that he's focused on invincible right now and invincible is really good yeah, um, I watched the first season that was very good very show. good very good show jk simmons is fucking perfect as omni man oh yeah um and steven yoon who played glenn in the show perfect mm-hmm. as invincible absolutely yeah, great um but when it comes to going back to anime specifically um Zom 100 does something really fun with zombies, uh, where you have a character who's super carefree. You have a character yeah. that is extremely, extremely like risk, uh, risk reward balancing. Uh, she's like very OCD, very, uh, very specific about how okay. she survives. And zombies exist in the world, like with with like pop culture and whatnot. So sh- they okay. un- they understand the rules, right? Mm-hmm. So these aren't people that are like, "What the hell is a zombie?" You know, like, no, 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 those are zombies. Right, some right. of them run, some of them are slow, some of them are huge, some of them are small, and that's okay. Like we just we 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 figure things out based on that. Uh, they also do a thing where not everything, not all the blood is red. They do like splotches of green and purple and yellow and blue. Okay. And the zombies are like colored in this multi colored mess. Uh, and whenever someone gets killed, like sure, there's there's blood here and there, but it's never like it's never pornographic gore, you know, like it's never it, it never glorifies the death. It's always like, what a fucking waste, right? Like what a waste that this person is dying right now. Um, and it focuses on the good things, right? Because um, Akira, the 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 main character he has a bucket list that is 100 things i want to do before i become a zombie right and the way that he words that is very in in, in tandem with the way that he approaches things he says um i'm going to die someday right and i'm probably going to become a zombie someday so while i don't i'm going to fulfill my bucket list i'm going to do all these things that i was never able to do while i was at my job and have a good time while this is happening. And Shizuka, okay. uh, the the OCZ girl, her own she made her own bucket list, but hers is 100 things to do <laughs> to not become a zombie, right? So it, oh, the, like very playing it safe, right? The the wording is very very specific, and it it it, it works so in tandem with these characters. Uh, That's funny, yeah. The series itself is phenomenal. All the characters are super lovable. It's all like the characters a, it's like are a interesting. Dramedy. 
right? Yeah, it's a dramedy. Like, there are moments of, of very heartfelt stuff. Um, oh, I'm going to have to enter on the German side. I, I'm Oof. right behind you. I'm next in line. I'm next to join. Okay. Uh, I'll be joining... Okay, join join Germans, joining How. Yeah, I'll join How squad. So uh, there's room for one more, yeah. Yeah, try to get my support... Uh, my support skills up. Uh, I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go to the defense point, drop some supplies there. Yeah. Um, yeah, ZOM 100, very good anime. There is a live action. I am completely uninterested to watch it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, the whole... The whole making live action anime stuff, to me, is just really silly. I don't, I don't have yeah. fun. I, I'm the that. same way. I'm sure some of them are good. Apparently, One Piece is a is finally the good adaption. I'm still see because I, I'm one a fan One of Piece, animation. yeah, One Piece for me is just like the only reason that I'm like I I reserve judgment about that one is because Oda, the the manga cub behind One Piece, yeah. is completely involved and loves every second of it. So I'm like, you know what, man? Okay, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shit on this because. Clearly, this is what you wanted uh, a long time ago, and to be able to do it clearly makes you happy. So I am not going to shit on that. How could I? Um, yeah. But there is one anime, in my opinion, that is the single best anime of all time. And I know that it, it, it carries a lot of weight to say that. Uh, and that is Hajime no Ippo, which is a boxing anime. It is okay. so good. Is so good. Uh, yes. The original came out, I want to say the late 80s or the early 90s. So you have to deal with, you know, voice voiceover from that time. Okay, yeah. Uh, which may or may not be a bit silly. Which it is. You know, it's, it's old anime. Um, but the story yeah, I can, I is so the good. The story is so good. The characters are completely lovable. All of them are perfectly designed. Like, you genuinely feel a connection to them because the way that the, the series works, Hajime right? No Ippo, right? Yeah, it's H-A-J-I-M-E space and N-O. On on yeah, there you go. Boxing animes. Exactly. And the thing about it is that Hajime no Ippo has two states, right? One of them is preparing for the fight and the other is during the fight. Um, and when you're preparing for the fight, you expect that you're only going to be following Ippo and his training and his tribulations and whatnot. But no, you get to follow his opponents. And nine times out of ten, you end up cheering for the opponent. Because Ippo, really? uh, you love Ippo. Like, 100%. Like, there's no debating that. You'll end up loving him because he's just a good-hearted kid. He's just so nice that even his opponents can't help but like him. He, he suffers from the shonen protagonist syndrome where everyone can't help but like him because he is just that nice. And no one really understands why he's being so nice, but that's just uh, who he is. Um, it was also the 80s, so it wasn't as played out. Exactly. And the beautiful thing about it is that, you know, everyone that boxes have a, has a reason to box, right? Some people just want to be strong. Some people want to be rich but other people want you know to provide for their little sister or their mother or you know they came from a really bad home and they're, they're trying to escape poverty by being you know a prize fighter um and Hajime no Ippo's opponents I never call them villains villains are reserved for very specific characters right but they're the an antagonists right? right they're they're antagonists but they're not bad you understand their reasons for fighting you understand why they are the way they are and they're so well designed that you cannot help but understand why they do the things they do and as you understand their motivations you come to relate to them and they're just so interesting and fun that you end up half cheering for them and half cheering for Ippo whoever wins you're, you'll be okay with it because these are good people trying to do something with their lives and putting themselves on the line and, you know, just throwing everything they've got into this one fight. And anyone can relate to that. And that's the beauty of Hajime no Ippo. But at the same time, you also have Ippo's um, gym partners. 
Who? Ah, shit. Ha I mean, I'm on German side, but uh, the Me too. squad is, is filled up. Oh, okay. Um, soon as I, soon as I die, I'll switch over to you. Um, but you have Ippo's uh, gym partners, and you have Takamura, who is this insanely strong middleweight, uh, who wins very often who is a powerhouse. He is super arrogant, but he's also kind of like a... He's kind of a jock, like a meathead. Um, mm -hmm. He's super arrogant, but he has reason to be. He's extremely strong. He becomes the All Japan champion, and then he later, like, uh, goes on to challenge the, the world championship. Uh, which squad are you in? I'm not in any squad. Should, I just, should we join? Uh, let's go to Love. Jake. Yeah, Love has um, space. Um, and... The beautiful thing about it, let me just uh, mute you in um, in game. Uh, the beautiful yeah. thing... Also, I'll mute you in game, okay. Yeah. The beautiful thing about the story is that you have Takamura, who wins very often, right? So whenever he is on the back foot, there's real tension. Because you're like, wait, there's no way he's going to lose, right? And... Like, it, the, the story really manages to get you to care about these characters because you see them during their training. You see how much they sacrifice of their personal lives. And then you have Kimura and... Uh, Kimura and... What's his name? I forget his name. I feel like an asshole now. But um, he's... They're, they're not exceptional boxers. They're fine. You know, and the thing about them is that sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. And every fight that they go in, there is real tension because you're used to them winning and used to them losing. So you never really know how the fight is going to go. Um, and you get to accompany them during their own journeys and during their own fights. And you end up loving them because they have this real sense of camaraderie between them. They feel like real people. And it's just so good, man. It's so good. It's so well crafted. It's so witty. It's yeah. so fun. And you genuinely feel like one of the boys as you're watching the show. I don't know. It's just, it's my favorite anime of all time. And I, I highly recommend it to anyone. That's awesome. I might, well, I highly doubt I'll have time to check it out, but yeah. A lot of the episodes are on YouTube. Uh, I think the early season one episodes are on YouTube. Um, I did see a clip of an anime, a different anime called Pat Labor. Oh, oh hell yeah. Pat Labor is classic. Yeah, like specifically Pat Labor 2. Yep. Uh, apparently that's a really good one. I had, uh, we had Pat Labor on the TV when I was, when I was young. And, you know, granted, with my changing opinions about the police and that kind of stuff, uh, uh, it definitely has soured it a little bit. Ooh, I just got a, a kill. Very long distance. Yeah. 279 meters. Jesus. Um, Did but you, uh, do you get a kill confirmed? No, uh, but you can hear... You saw the guy drop. You hear a sound. When, uh, oh, when you hit the... Headshot. No, 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 no. The headshot is the ping. You hear the helmet ping. But if it's right. a body shot, you hear a like a like an impact really? sound. So, yeah. So, okay. 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 It's just it's just a bit subtle now and then. You just have to uh, listen to it. I think that is an enemy tank. Yeah, that is marked. We not be up here. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. Holding up here is important. Being able to see the enemy from high ground is going to be a boon for us. I died. I died. Oh, there's a guy in the house. Ha guy in the house. Okay. Did you die? Yeah, I did. I did. I got my ass, got kicked. My ass kicked. Which is a pity. Well, I am the medic, so. Yep, yep. There you go. There you go. Um, no, but um, Pat Labor is really good. The, the animation is phenomenal. Um, a lot of the later Gundam has really, really good animation. I think Pat Labor sort of fits into that genre. It's not Gundam per se, but... Uh, it's a more yeah, grounded. It's like technically yeah. yeah, it's mechs, and it's more grounded because, you know, <clears throat> as far as I understand, we're not fighting armies. We're fighting, you know, criminals with their own mechs. Uh, so it's like lower, not lower stakes, but just lower scale. Mm -hmm. 
Oh god, someone just died behind me. Someone just died. Uh, I just died behind. Enemies in the outpost area. I don't I don't see him yet. Okay, I'm going to throw a grenade back here. Let's see if this does anything. Outpost. I think so too. There's a garrison nearby. Someone. Really don't see the fucker. Is he over here? Maybe we got them? I I don't know. I might be about to get shot in the head. Put another one over when there. When you're a medic, do you see like people who are down? Yes. Well, I get, you know, I take it. I take it back. Yeah, they're, they're grayed out, right? No, no. You see, you see their, uh, you see like a, a red thingy. Uh, oh, okay. So on top like of a them. Specific. Okay, okay. Yeah, friendly downed kind of thing. Okay, they're appro approaching us from uh, west of the point. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, 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 bombing run got us all. <clears throat> yeah, no, Hajiminawip was fantastic. Um, I recommend... Cowboy Bebop is a classic. Uh, Akira is a classic. Uh, Ghost in the Shell. All all the old ones. All the oldies are good. I like Big O. I remembered how, how good of a show that was. Which one? The fucking music is perfect. Yeti. Which one? Big O. Big O. Voiced by Stephen Blum as well. I'm not familiar with that one. It's a mech anime. Uh, the mechs are very slow and big. Uh, it's about Roger Smith. He's like a lawyer, like a Bruce Wayne type. I see. I don't know if he's a lawyer, but uh, something like that. And uh, yeah. Coming in from over there. one way too close <laughs> approaching from that direction Ping, right there. I didn't hear you in squad. Was that for me? No, for all of us. Is my voice out? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we can hear you in game. Check one, two, local chat check. I can hear you. Okay. A tank on my mark. Can I give you the morphine ahead of time? No. Just to, like, chill. Not really. Also, I like how morphine is used to revive. They're all pushing in. Three, one, twelve. Northwest. There's a lot of them pushing in from that direction. Oh, I'm so stupid. I muted you in game, which is what we're supposed to do. 
Yeah. Because of Discord. But that's why I can't see see your name, because I literally muted Yeah, exactly, exactly. I thought I would see your name, but I can't even do that. Oh, hold on, there's a wounded person? Yeah, there's a medic. There's a guy on the ground. Upstairs, upstairs. Abdul Aziz. I'm, I'm coming to you. One thing I like about this game is how long you can stay down for. I do appreciate that. Yeah. Gives you enough time. them roughly around here. There's got to be a fucking garrison or something. Looks like we're all centered around the road, so. Well, we are holding middle points, so we're in a... We're winning. There's 38 minutes left. One of our guys is pushing them. Are you moving? Hey, squad lead. They probably have a garrison roughly around this ping right here. They're pushing in from that direction. I want to mark that. Do let command know that that marker is not completely accurate. It's just that area. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we do have someone in our current area. I believe... Uh, I think that's an enemy airhead behind us. Enemy airhead behind us! Is it active, or is it just landing? It'll be active in a moment. Reflux, reflux on me. Enemy airhead just dropped. I don't think we're going to make it in time. Gonna put a grenade there. I held it for a bit too long. What the fuck is it? Where is it? Is that it right there? Could I smoke it? I have smokes. I got it. There's the enemy supply drop. Uh, negative on that enemy's airhead. It was a supply drop. Destroyed. That might have been a... That might have been a bait. But why would they do it with fucking supplies? That's a hundred supplies that they just lost. We're losing guys up ahead. Here, let's flank left over this hedge. Across the street? No. Okay. Not yet, not yet. We just did. Okay, okay, I see I see one right there. Okay, he just stepped on a mine. That's good. Let's push. Shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can't get, I don't think I can get I'm down, I'm down. Get out of here. Drop some smoke ahead of you and then move. I think you're in the open. I think I can get to you. No, no, no. Don't get to me. Drop a smoke and then move. 
Okay. What type? What direction were do you get shot from? Probably f directly from the road, close to the point. Not a hundred percent sure. Okay, we need to spawn back in Causeway. They have to have a fucking, fucking uh, airhead behind us. Are, uh, getting... Shit, I gotta get on point. It's log. Was it close by? Contesting. Space. I, I'm a medic. Where's that coming from? From the west? Don't know. Get on point. Get on point, boys. Uh, other side of the road. Other side of the road. Okay, don't don't bandage me. You get finite amount of morphine oh god i got you him. do you do i'm gonna bandage upstairs hopefully he doesn't well, fucking I'm, make it upstairs no got it i think bottom floor check bottom floor i'm looking i don't see anything oh i see him ah oh, i meleeed him but he still got me he's dead yeah, is a, a instant kill though right it is he's dead Oh, we just I just lost Garrison. Fuck. Yeah, they're oh, gonna push other us. Ma oh god, we've lost everything except the outpost. They probably fucking flanked. Went after our garrisons. Also, hi Bucket. How's it going? Hi. Cool, good. I was gonna come in just to like chat with you guys, but you guys are kinda busy, so I'm gonna stay quiet. Oh. No worries. We are in the middle of a of a game, so No, I know, you guys are playing Hell at Loose, so. Well, Carrington's gonna fall. Uh, deploy middle spawn in the in the back. We need to move to road. All right, I'm in the. I spawned already, so I'll just see what I can do. Okay, do that. How many more? Oh, you get 20 morphines. Oh, you get 20 morphines and 20 bandages. Yes. Oh, that's oh. You should never. You should never tell me to not use it. Well, the, the thing is, like, if if I'm completely in the open. Uh, it's better for you to not do it unless the threat the open, is eliminated. Yes, the open, yes. But if yeah. we're safe in a house and you're telling me save your bandage, I'm like, no. Well, that's the thing, though. If we stayed down there, the guy would have gotten us both and I wouldn't have gotten the, the, the guy that got you. Okay, so it's, so it's for a tactical, immediate tactical reason, not because like, yeah. I can serve bandages. Okay. Exactly. If I tell you to not bandage me, that means that I'm, I'm just going to move and get out. Uh, oh. Yeah, What they the got fuck? It. What? I... I fell into like a deep chasm of water. For yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of bullshit. What the fuck? Where are you guys at? Like, what's the scenario? Uh, we're in Carentan. Oh, uh, so Germany attacked Poland in 1939. <laughs> and then things happened from there. Actually, no. Um, okay, so the year is 1914. <laughs> Okay, so you gotta go back to the fall of the Roman Empire. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Let me start there, let me start there. So the Holy Rod Roman Rod Empire. <laughs> Rod, where are you? I'm over by Road to Carantan. I'm putting down some uh, some supplies. Oh, God. Uh, squad lead heads up in Road to Carantan. I put down some supplies. You can make a, a garrison here if you'd like. We need one. I'm gonna spawn by the aid station garrison because we're just about to lose that. There's literally no one there. Bro, how do you s not see that dude running towards you? He's right there. Oh god, we gotta take that thing back. We're gonna lose it. <clears throat> Just go, go. I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna smoke it. Yo, 
us go. God damn it. I'm missing oh all my god. Fucking You're in shots. the house. Come on, come on, come on, reload. I was an assault medic. Ah, there we go, the headshot! Ooh, baby! We lost aid station. <clears throat> I am what is known as the Sturm medic. Tip of the spear medic. You're a harmacist. <laughs> harmacist? <laughs> That's, I've never heard that before. That's good. Oh, uh, we are fucked. Um, Motherfucker, man. I'm I'm holding back an entire fucking American assault over here by myself, might I add. Squad lead, let the commander know he's driving directly into hostiles. Get his fucking truck out of there. God, if only I had a fucking MG42 here. They're pushing with supplies. Where is the team? The entire team is just sitting on their thumbs. This is... I don't think this is a transport truck. Yeah, I think we're boned. Okay, there's a garrison. Okay, okay new garrison. garrison. Commander just placed east of the point. Road to Carentan. Fucking hell. Squad leader, what is our objective? Defense. Uh, hold position. Try to Copy that. Around. Copy that. Where are we rallying? Or where are you at? I'm running down the main road. I'm on my way. Copy that. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Okay, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. He's not dead yet. Hold on, I'm a medic. Wait, hold on. I think I can get to you. Wait, wait. It's okay, I'll bandage yeah, myself. Next. Stay down. Uh, I'll bandage, bandage myself, I'll bandage myself, don't worry. Okay, stay down again. I'm coming to you. Oh, okay, you spawned, what a thing. Crawling for no reason. Fuck's sake. Uh, this may be a uh, less than better position. They're bombing the fuck out of us. Okay. Where do we go now? We hold. Run, uh, what? Straight ahead? Honestly, right now, the best thing we can do is hold. Fuck. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna... try to get to you. I'm, get, I'm going towards you. Oh, fuck me. Okay, I'm in the trench. Yeah, come to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you went three different directions, my friend. I just did the muck and pancala. <laughs> okay, well, there's an outpost right here, so we're good. Uh, can I switch to machine? Okay. Our machine gunner's not doing what they need to do. So I'm just going to switch to engineer and put down some goofy uh, uh mines for the fair, enemy if this is like 1944 germany there's a good chance that machine gunner is a child so cut him <laughs> well yeah but not in this hey, one machine gunner who's our machine gunner You're playing online. the chance of it being an actual child is not zero so yeah. do we have a machine gunner on the team on the squad okay damn it we do. They're just not. They're just not facing the enemy from inside the pillbox. Yeah, Our machine gunner is a oh, guy called Jack. Jack. Okay. Yeah. Switching to anti tank. Are you in the? Are you in the field? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm coming to you. Excuse me, thank you. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I got my own. Stay in cover. We need our recon to start doing their fucking job and kill their... We should not go that way. Well, we have to. Okay. Where'd you go?
I went there and there and there. <laughs> so should we try a flank? There's not much we can do right now. Squad leader, should we try a flank? Mm, they're holding uh, HQ spawn now. I'm building a garrison somewhere. I'm trying to clear that first. Copy that. Okay, it seems like we're actually pushing 8th station. So that's good. Okay. And with that... The control's all messed up. Yeah, with that, I'm going to say it's game. If we don't take 8th station right now, they're going to take this one. I keep forgetting that... Uh... They just cleared the shit out of Carantan. I'm going to switch to Engineer just to have the, the close-range machine gun. Oh, we just lost outpost. Okay. Um... It's GG. That's probably GG already. Move into the point! Move into the fucking point, people! Let's go! They're going to take out our fucking artillery. Watch. Before I can deploy, they're going to kill one of the artilleries. We're behind you, squad leader. Yeah, that's GG. What's the radius of proxy voice? Not sure. Okay. I think it's pretty long, but... I'm gonna guess like 30. That'd be too much. That would be cool if there was a... Wait for it to determine. Fuck! I think, I think they got us dead to rights in that garrison. If we cared, we would probably want to spawn south. But... I think that's GG, of course. That's GG, lads. Great fucking work. You all did great. I like yeah. being machine gunner. It's good. It's fun. If you catch a if you catch a devious flank, it's the best thing in the world. Bucket, That's have land. What? Have we met Bucket? I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> That's okay. Do you play Foxhole? Um, I. Okay, well then we probably have not. Yeah, buckets a uh, buckets a. Uh, Which is perfectly fine. Good buddy of mine. We did some, um, some fan dubs together. Yeah. Nice. Very funny. Very funny stuff. Hey, Got to get into those. I need to build up my portfolio. Eventually. Oh, dude, I have. You know what? I I'm currently working on a thing called the Midnight Pals. It comes out later this month. Um, and I'm I'm betting that for season two. We're definitely going to need more voice actors, so I'll definitely send that your way. Thank you. I, I want to build up a portfolio of my regular voice. Right. So not the deep Jeffrey Jennings voice. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Jennings. <laughs> Going into like next Foxhole is a massively multiplayer game. It's so good. It's so good. So, Bucket, have you, have you listened to some of my radio plays? Um, I did not know you made radio plays. I do. If you look over in the channel, Rod's Still Creations. Playing. Yeah, that is a that is such an honor to me, by the way. All 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 this time, and they still play. I'm actually thinking of doing um, uh, Bastard Days number two. Hell yeah, that'd be fun. All right, let's make you a. Do, you got a U.S. right? Yes. 
Uh, Creating an infantry. Any Normandy map. Yeah. Gotta do fucking US. Infantry now. It's easy. Aw, oh, hell yeah. We're easy, baby. Easy company! And look, it's just such a pain because it's such a huge download and it's a huge updates all the time. Got yeah. I said I like. Unless it's fun. Uh, okay, which, uh, uh, one, two, or three? Top squad, HQ01, boys. Top HQ, I should say. Spawn on the top HQ, get in that truck, let's go. Uh, yeah, so Bucket, all of my radio plays were playing on Jeffrey here's um, stream, which is called yeah. the Press Corps. And there's a game called Foxhole, which I might come back for a bit just to, to shit around just with the, the new update. naval. Yeah, the new naval update. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll probably be deploying with CL as per usual. Bro, Saving Private Ryan ain't got shit. This is so easy. Why didn't they just drive? This is the so easiest thing in the world. This was so easy. Oh my God. We're easy company, and this is the easiest thing on the planet. Look at this. Yeah. What the fuck? Um, Why didn't they just do the assault during the match warm-up? Motherfucker. Exactly. Fucking um, dumbasses. So, so, Baron, uh, Foxhole is this game where uh, it's like an MMO military game where every player is a soldier. Every soldier you see is a player. Every rifle, every piece of ammunition, every tank, every truck, every everything is made by players and used by players. Oh, okay. It's a huge fucking ordeal. Um, I don't know if the community has gotten any better recently or if the if the the devs have gotten any better, but it can be a bit They're of a shit show same. now and then. They're about the same. Well, there you go. Your positive qualities are still positive, very positive. Their negative qualities are still squarely negative. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but. Essentially, what I started doing was, you know, being a voice actor and all, I approached uh, Captain here, and I was like, hey, what if I made some radio plays, would you be down to uh, to feature them on Press Corps? And he was like, yeah, sure, let's see what you got. And then I made a few. I don't, I don't know how many I've made, but I made a few. Um, and every time that the, uh, every time that it would play, his voice, his announcer voice would come through and be like, listen up, because this is, this is the Bureau of Occult Warfare. He has a bunch of different characters that he uses. So, fun times. I might go back and make a, make a sequel to one of my best ones, if not the best one I've ever made. Best your days. Hey, squad lead. Uh, where do we want to drop off? At the A battery or right up to the point? Uh, we're gonna go up to A battery. Uh, I'm gonna drop an OP there. You guys stay in the truck. Keep moving towards WN4. Uh, I'll put down an OP here. Just in oh, case yeah. we need to, to pull back. I can, I can say I just put up Fox Hole and continue to fix the uh, trucks on there, so it's automatically got a little bit of interest from me. Yeah, uh, if, it's worth it's worth the it's worth the experience. Yeah, if you're you yeah. bang for your buck, you will not be squarely disappointed. You may be disappointed depending on the type of player you are, but you will yeah. be worth the money. If you if you play with friends, it'll immediately become a much better game. Immediately, if you're playing with your buddies and like actually organizing and communicating, then it's it's a very fun game. Um, I don't know how the, the solo player versus clan player dichotomy is doing these days. Um, it's fine if you, if you... It's not really... It's so far removed, I never really saw much of a problem with it. I see. Oh yeah, speaking of multiplayer shit, you see the new stuff that's coming for Sea of Thieves? I have not. What is it? So, new season um, drops in like October 18th. And they're just like, oh, the new season has taken us, us a while, so we're going to introduce like two or three seasons worth of content. Oh, like, we're going to roll fun. stuff from season 11 and 12. So, um, there is like various bits and bobbles coming. They haven't revealed them all, but the big thing that's coming like on launch of the next season is they're doing guilds. So, basically, you like name your guild, you log in a bunch of captain ship, and basically, like, as long as your captain ship is in a guild, any member of your guild can take out that ship and sail it at any time. Oh, that's pretty fun. Yeah, and then, um, 
I forgot they're doing something in November, but December they're doing um, what's called Safe Seas. I see. So oh, yeah, I heard about that. Like, Opening up yeah, it'll be like a small like, the alternate server. That's yeah, like more, fun stuff. Who the like fuck? Oh, my God. Who the fuck just put that garrison there? God damn it. Dumbasses. Hello. I... Can you run a garrison over? You cannot. Probably, you Hi, Cool Cat. Hello, who's this? Cool Cat. Punish Cat. Oh, Cool Cat, hey. Yeah. How cool. you been doing? I haven't heard seen you in a while. Yeah, haven't seen you in a while either. We're playing yeah, Hell Let Loose right now. Very busy, and we are playing the game. Are so you if you see us switching to tactical, tactical comms, uh, I am not ignoring you. No worries. Mm. Okay, we seem to be holding this pretty well, so I'm gonna move our, our OP up here. My question, is this worth my money? Which, Hell Let Loose? Yes. I like it. I like it very so much. Have you played a uh, more of a tactical, more of a hardcore realism kind of shooter? Uh, I played squad a lot. Then you'll like this one. It's a lot better. Yeah, be yeah. uh, Easy squad. We're staying here in WN4. We're going to defend this. We are def defensive squad. Do not push into the next point. Right. Oh yes. Speaking of war, um, Rod, did you see my pictures from the reenact when I put the photo gallery? I saw, dude. It looks sick. Thank you look you. fantastic. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, and I'm really excited because we have a tactical event in Dodgeville, Wisconsin, coming up in April. I'm glad, so dude. Like, there's going to be, like, cool. actual field commands and officers. The situation is Romanian Spring in, like, February of 1944. Oh. So they're going to be pushed into Romania. That's so really be, like, interesting. actual command structure, and we're basically just going to be doing, like, mock battles for, like, an entire weekend. That's amazing. Like, uh, what is that? Soviet 41 kit or 44 kit? Um, this is basically our shtick for the whole weekend where we were doing um, no no the, your photo oh. from like um what was it, six that was from two days ago on friday your photos from friday yeah that's that's 44 no, not 41 kid oh okay the up, up. Yeah, i was gonna up say because the, the gas mask looks something like from that looks off oh is the gas mask on one of those pictures yeah you gotta look so it looks like a 80s 60s uh soviet gas mask Enemies, but I enjoy oh, it. yeah. Oh, that one's pretty poor. Hold on, hold on. Cl yeah. Clear comms real quick, boys. Sorry. Okay. Uh, say again. Enemy supply drop F4. Roger that. Enemy supply drop F4. Enemy supply drop on F4 south. Uh, that's okay, clear. Yeah, to be clear. That's the supply drop. Roger that. Thank you. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's like... 44 late war and then the mask is an shm 41 so it's i think the stamping it's 1957 it's the um like the immediate post-war model but like the gas like the um hose receiver is the same style as the wartime so there's tape over the crimping to make it look a little bit closer so it's all post-war but it's about as close as you can get to a wartime mask about hi yak welcome buddy i'm looking for the photo and I oh, see the one all the there, guys, Rod. and this looks like a mishmash of, like, Soviet, Polish Soviet War, all the way to, like, early, uh, early Barbarossa. Here we go. Yeah, I, the situation, because I was our march at, that was a big safety meeting, so it was just, like, June <laughs> 3940, and I didn't have an SA set. Soviet, Soviet Army in, in the, the Soviet Army in the early 40s be, like, mixed-mashed. So they're mostly, I'm at a 40, which is technically a little bit out of date, but it's the same shape as 39. Um, one of the unit leaders, his dad, he's in like the tropical cap, and then pretty much everyone is in like... Okay, we, we are holding like, WN4 uh, pretty well right now. I an early war tunic for the weekend, and we were basically just doing a display of like 41 Barbarossa era, so... Oh, that's cool. And then a few other things I've got like... Stay in WN4, boys. We're a defensive squad. We'll push in soon. Can you use patient. tools in this? Yep. Oh, I fancy myself using a uh, Sherman. There's no third person on it, though, so be advised. That's fine. G is me. Stand by. I got you. G is me. Hold on. <laughs> G is me. G. I, I love calling out for friendlies. Because, uh, like, you just give them the dumbest fucking the name, internet names. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, speaking of voice, Jeffrey, you did excellent on the trailer. Uh, for Thank Fox you so Call. much. I oh, they hired you for it? Yo, no, I I got paid three hundred to fucking do that trailer. I am it's so great. happy. Nice. I'm I'm so glad I'm so glad they've decided to actually fucking pay their voice actors.
Well, hold on. Did they have voice actors before? Oh, yeah. have I never told you about the story of them wanting me to voice the entirety of a Chronicle of Ash, uh, for free? Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. That would have been. I guess their mentality was. was that yeah, it was. Uh, oh, it's not necessarily like a main game thing. It's more. Yeah. Like oh, they, it's like, a it's an audio book. Well, yeah, Matt. Matt was the one that that reached yeah, out to me, I have paid. and I was I like, "Hey, man, like, what's up?" And he's like, "I want to. Uh, we really love the stuff that you that you're making, dude. Would you would you want to do Chronicle of Ash?" And I was like, "Oh, dude, that'd be sick. How much are you guys paying for it?" And they're like, "Well, we're not really paying for it." And I was like, "Well, then I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it. I I don't work for free." You in uh, exposure? Honestly, honestly, you doing that is probably directly the reason why I got paid. So and that makes me extremely happy. Good yeah. Good. 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 What we like to call voice actor solidarity. Bombing run, bombing run, inside! Oh god. How's everybody, how's everybody doing? Yeah, guys? How's We're everybody good, man. Okay, don't respawn, respawn. I can fix you. <laughs> oh god, I can't fix that. <laughs> I'm for an artillery operation today, so that's it for me. I've been doing Voxel? Yep, we nice. were doing uh, rockets. I stole a colonial tank at earlier this war and I called it uh, Hephaestus. You guys are still doing uh, ISO? Yep. I'm glad, man. That makes me happy. We still are you, are you excited for the are you excited for the new SPGs? Bruh, we, the, the, literally, like, the second we saw those, like, no more standard, no more uh, immobile artillery gun. No more of that shit. Yeah. By the way, Jeffrey, you're gonna go back to um, the, was it the the press score uh, live reports anytime soon, or are you just waiting for like? We're fielding. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Pardon me, thank you. No worries. We're we're fielding like where we're where we're at. Like, hey, how do we feel, guys, about this? Because a lot of us got burnt out for different, completely different reasons. Nothing to do with Foxhole, even. Um, End the point, boys. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I, I, we are planning on something. It may be the most casual thing ever, which is just radio breaks. But, but like, literally, that's like the fact you guys are doing this at all is one of the main reasons why I'm stuck around this song because it feels like Aww. an actual like real life, you know, war that's going on with a radio station. You can check yeah. out yeah. what's happened and whatnot. Well, oh, thank do you. It, no, that do, yeah, do that that makes me calling, very happy. Doing those call-ins back in the day. When I'm just a lonely ass lieutenant, didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Point is under attack. Point is under attack. We got up. Get to the point, boys. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yes. Get in, stay in. Doing those radio calls back in the day was the best thing ever. Even yeah, though I had a fucking hard defend time, this by like, myself. Say what I was trying to say because I had a, I was nervous. Can but I, I still had fun can, doing uh, it. Thank Badum mm -hmm. HQ. No, it was great to have you on every single time. Thank you. You were doing the RP thing. Yeah. <laughs> really, yeah really funny. I, thank you. Thank you. We're gonna lose the point. God fucking damn yeah, it! Yeah, I'm I'm spawning in garrison south of the point. Uh, hmm. Germans reinforced What's with another SS division. Keep uh keep keep spawning on the garrison to the south of WN4. I'm gonna pull back to AA battery. Put down an OP just in case. What's the best way to defend that point? It's not the being being the inside. Place. You gotta be inside yeah. the the thing. Can you just put walls around the barn? You can. But the problem is that no one fucking puts down supplies for that. Oh, that sucks. And just put some MG nests around the thing and just defend the barn. Eh, uh, MG, you can't really build an MG okay. nest, but you can oh, build, like, defenses uh, and whatnot. North. It's not like Foxhole. My brain is mush. Okay, I took down one guy. They're getting ready for a back cap, boys. I'm already here in AA battery. Gonna need some fucking support. Okay, yeah, I'm falling back to the. Redeploy, guys. Everyone redeploy. Imagine playing as a team. Redeploy back to a battery right now. OP is ready. Fuck's sake. Rod, we're already under fire by the garrison. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna move up and deal with them. Let's see if I can. Was, was that a uh, rally point your squad guys can spawn on? That yep. Move, move to the right. trench, move to the trench, dudes. That's exactly what it was, Cool Cat. Good eyes. Yeah, I usually like playing squad late sometimes in uh, squad, but mostly I like using cat. 
Did the, uh, did the new updates for Hell Let Loose come on yet? Um, no, not yet. They're still no, doing no. The, the, the public testing. Gotcha. I'm kind of excited for the new changes. So. Wow. Funny wow. story, Jeffrey. I was like, we were watching the reaction to the trailer, and someone yeah. that I was in chat with was like, Who's that Walter Cronkite sounding ass in this fucking trailer? That's exactly, that, that's exactly the, what I was going for. I know. <laughs> Jeffrey Jennings' voice. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it made me laugh my ass. I was like, that's exactly who, that's his voice. That's like, that's, that was, I modeled it around. And it's a fantastic fucking modeling. Thank you. It's a fucking fantastic. It's probably weird hearing me like this. No, it's not actually. I figured. Eh, well, now. Eh, not really. Kind of, but not really. I figured you. The, f the first time I heard you, just with your regular voice, I was very confused. Because I thought it was. It was all your regular voice. I never forgot. I walk. I kind of walk into like a DD campaign or whatever you're doing. And Shenzhen. I don't know if she's still around, but uh, she was in the group. <laughs> Yeah, oh, she's around. I yeah, I, I I forgot to turn off the voice changer, and she was like, oh, "Oh my god, he really does! Oh my god, he really does talk like that!" Oh, so it is modulated. Interesting. I it thought is, it was yeah, just. I can't do. I can't do it like. My god, I just... Right ahead! Right ahead! Right ahead! Well, your gun out, Jeffrey. I I I'm a medic. I only have two clips. <laughs> Shut up, Desmond Doss! Pull your gun out! Shoot the enemy! Wave your pistol at him. You just made me think of a great screen name. <laughs> it was, uh, it would be like Desmond like, Doss with a Glock. <laughs> Desmond Glock. Desmond Glock. Yeah, ISO still going strong, Rod. We are... I'm glad, man. We've already kicked off 50 wars and going now. We're ready to kick ass on a naval base next war. Hopefully. Hell yeah, dude. How's Death Dealers doing? He's alright? Yeah, he's alright. He is currently on the break right now. He had to go do something, so it's uh, right now it's currently me and uh, they're flanking north northwest, northwest. Northwest, they make call Storm yeah, Pow Pow, hold on, Storm Pow Pow. I'm coming to you, Storm Pow Pow. Jesus, I'm killing dudes left and right. How many kills have I gotten so far? What the fuck? Seven kills. Jeez. Average sharpshooter. I only have a grand right now. Well, everyone just fucking redeployed, so we got them on that. Yeah, that's good. Ah. When people redeploy properly, you can really shift a battle. Problem is, we need people to be pushing WN4. There's nobody there. <laughs> I was actually going back and reading my Foxhole novel and considering continuing the writing of it. I read that shit. I read that. Uh, like, like I thought about, like, as I'm looking through notebooks to try and, like, make up a crap. Yeah. About, I'm finding, like, old bit of, like, stories I've written. I'm like, I don't want to read these. Like, the like, the you know, pow, pow, I'm coming to you. Can you hear me, Pow, Pow? The but also, I'll probably oh, I'll probably play some Foxhole again just to get the inspiration Pop right. I'm, to you. Yeah. I'm almost there, Papa. Foxhole and wishlist. For some reason, I just like fall in love with like, a single player for no reason. And be like, I got this guy. I'm gonna protect this guy. I'm coming to you. Hashtag Greg. Greg, hold on. <laughs> Greg. Hopiki, uh, hold on, Hopiki. Ah uh, yes, the classic 1940s name. Hashtag Greg. HG Greg. HG Reg. If you could just fucking drag bodies to do fireman's carries, this is, I would never play another class. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they add that eventually. Hell at Loose is a bit less like involved uh, com compared to Squad. If they did a squad with like actual like World War II stuff, I feel like I would play it.
I understand why the medic only has two clips, but it's annoying. It is. It is very annoying. Hallmark is accurate. Uh, we have an enemy tank directly ahead of us. That's a tank. That's a tank. Every Alex yeah. tanker during the Civil the last. War is a tiger, even though it's a I mean, war. I'm trying to do the fucking Brad Pitt here. It's like, holy shit, there's a goddamn tiger. Holy shit, there's a goddamn tank. Holy shit, the Lancer 36 kit cover. Holy shit, it's a Lehman Ross. <laughs> goddamn, you... it's a Panzer 4 Alps G with a side armor. Get down. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, it's a tractor. It's a German tractor. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's got the side armor skirts upgrade. Yeah, God damn it. Get down. Mr. President, get down! This is a storm team. It's just it's Jesus Christ, it's a fucking friggin' out. Mark 6. Jason Christ, it's Jesus born. Jesus Christ. Wheelo, hold on, Jesus I'm coming Christ. to you. Jason oh, Bourne, it's Jesus Christ. Military. Well, I mean, you, I know you can't move, but don't, don't expire. Hey, J Rod, I checked out your YouTube page, and you're making some kind of, like, live-action movie. I'm trying to get to the Panther, yeah. but I have... Yeah. One second, I can't hear anything because this and fucking guy in the... Oh, my God, it's so loud. Okay, there. What's up? Say it again. Good, Rod. That's why it's called. You have. I checked out your YouTube channel like a while back, and you were making some kind of live action show or something. Monarchs. Yeah. Monarchs. Yes. Monarchs. Yeah. It's my live action SCP web series. Oh my god. I started it back in 2017, and it went up until 2019. Uh, first season is done, but I I haven't really gotten to do season two yet. Monarch 52. Okay, so the garrison uh, near the point is under attack. I got the machine gunner. Uh, uh, shit sticks. All right, let me take a look. Wow, this is interesting. I don't see it. I don't see it with a reg ping. Is it just uh, ranged? Oh, uh, you know what? That might have so been like a machine gunner. I, I hit a straight bullet, but I spawned in and I got shot immediately. That's rough. So we'll call it luck. Of the bad variety. It's bad luck, but it's still luck. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that fire is coming from a battery or something. I don't know. Fire is coming from WN4. Jade Cove wasn't enough. Shit. Oh, you don't even know, Rod. Um, if you did, you see the news? Say, say again? Did you see the Foxhole dev stream? I have not. Well, they changed uh, the they changed nukes now. They're no longer nukes as they once were. Now they're like tactical ballistic missiles you can build anywhere. That is so dumb. Except you need, um, you can only fire them in the neighboring region, and you need a, uh, a intel center. Okay. And you can't build them with, with the traditional things, you have to build them at a factory. Like, you need the rocket, the warhead, and then this middle section. I see. I see the yeah, thing. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, that's kind of silly. I missed, I missed the, I missed the Roughneck Wolfpack days when we took out that nuke. I remember that. Hey Tom, hold on, I'm coming to you, attack Tom. I'm almost there, tap Tom. Don't, don't, don't move. Ready. Operation Flying There's Raccoon, so was it? Typhoon. Typhoon. Typhoon Raccoon. Typhoon Raccoon. Yeah, he found me. Push up! You have any smokes left? Get the fucking anti tank on them! Rod, I have smokes. Which way do you want me to toss them? Uh, just whatever. 
Honestly, right now, whatever you want. We're in a bit of a pickle here. Okay, okay I'm right. gonna try to get to all of you. So, back, 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 back. Yeah, it's got Soviets. Yeah. Unlike enlisted, it doesn't allow you to scream hurrah. Oh. So. Oh, cringe. Damn, what a shame. I know, Damn. right? Does anyone know Red Orchestra? Yes. I used to play yeah, it with I played this. I had the free version of the sequel. Oh, we lost that garrison. Yeah, that Red makes Orchestra, sense. Red Orchestra, Austria, 1941 to 42. About that Denmark one. Is yeah, I had Rising Storm. I had the Rising Storm demo. He is no. <laughs> Rockford in the World War II event was fun because we were doing Soviet infantry, but there were some Soviet naval guys near oh, us. And they just lost that outpost. God a damn it. RD that they built off of a bolt action shotgun. And so, like, occasionally they leader, would just bring it over. Doing like, the garrison the south display, of the point. I think that's all we glitch, got. Glitch and Ulu, heads up. You do have a guy up north uh, where that garrison was. Ulu, I need you to go over there and kill him because our nodes are over there. If we lose those nodes, our, our commander can't do shit. I'm so far away. I can't support. Squad, move in north. We need to. We need support Ulu. Make sure those guys are taken out. I remember using the uh, PTRD or the PT. What's the single shot one? PTRS one. PTRD. Okay. The what is a PTRS? The PTRS is oh. basically a big SKS. It's like it's the any tank rifle, but it's a uh, right. It's got a ten round magazine. The anti materiel rifle, that one. Both of them are based off of the Polish uh, PK. I think it's the PSW pretty spy. Ulu, did you get the guy? Right. Do you want to put down an outpost somewhere? I'm going to. If I can survive the trek there. There it is, the Model 35 anti-tank rifle, which literally just looks like a, um, a beefier um, Tiga there. Yeah. No, the PTRD was, it was designed in like two months. It, was it's, like, it surprises me that no gun, that no gun has been called the Guevara. The That's Guevara. true. You know, like, or, or the Castro. The Castro. It's a little too on the noses. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, fucking calling a tank the Churchill. That was I, during the war, though. I know. That, that's the thing that I love about the Churchill, is that it's not named after Winston Churchill. It's, like, technically named after Winston who was named very much later. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. 222 meters. What about the, 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 the capture would just be, like, a oh. ATM 60 with, like, a... T55 turret mounted on the top of it. And I guess you guys supply check metal spot. Like, like, Rod, look at the sky. Uh, uh, about 300. Down. I see it. I see it. Enemy supply drop falling in 301 degrees from uh, AA battery, west by northwest. <laughs> Bless you. He's still he's still peeking, so I'm gonna try and get him. M1, M1. Alright, cheers. Not an exact thing. If we're pushing, we're pushing now. If we're pushing, we're pushing now, boys. Go, 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 go. Move forward. God, did you call that tank in? I did not. One second. Right, we got the Gary on hill. Easy mark on tank is accurate. Glitch, I might get to you. Yep. Oh, headshot. Oh, they're shooting us from the building. That's why. I, cu I killed him. I killed him. It never really saw combat prototype. Oh, that's a fat I, shame. Uh, I would have I mean, loved I think to use the headshot. Sorry. Fuck. The M6. Was it the I M6? 
I think it was originally because the the naming them after yeah, people sure. convention Charlie, wasn't Charlie. really a thing. Because I think when the Stuart came over to Africa, the American troops wanted to call right, it honey because it ran so smooth. Awesome. But the British were like, "This is preposterous! You have to name it after a person." Like the Americans were just gonna name them like honey because it ran smooth. The British insisted they named them after people. Typical British convention. moment. So you name it to Lee, and then you name the next one after you. Uh, push the tank! We have a machine gunner in the squad? Uh, we do, Jack. One through ten. Oh, wait, the, yeah, the, oh, yeah, the... What the fuck is the machine gunner doing? The IS series, I forgot that's what IS is for. Yeah. Isolov Stalin, which is the Russian trans... Yeah. And the uh, Kermit Korolev, uh, Koroshilov oh, tank. tank, tank. Mm, Voroshi yeah. Vor sorry, Voroshilov tanks. The, oh, uh, yeah, fuck, baby. I'm very forgetful. Tal Tom, it's up to you, man. We need to take out that tank. I love the Navy convention of the T-34. Yeah, working on it. Roger that, thank you. It was just named when the guy had the idea for it. It's like, yeah, I have the idea for this. Tank 34. And it's, the, and it's deployed in 1941, so fuck it. Firefly. Firefly. Oh, I love the crocodile. The crocodile is goofy as hell. Yes, that's also very good. What's the Soviet heavy tank did that was used before? Yeah, T 35. That thing is goofy. Oh, yeah, the fucking multi turret is wrong. That isn't the. Isn't, that's like. I can't I fucking. Do they have a fucking second tank on us? What's that one Soviet tank that's like the? It looks like a child fucking made it. Death Bridge or which one? Uh, Waffle. I'm trying to get to you, Waffle. Hold on. You say a child drew, and I immediately think of the There's many Soviet tanks that look stupid as hell. It's like box the other pop, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting closer, Waffle. Yeah, it just they took a KV-1 and put like 150. Nope, I'm dead. Sorry, Waffle. What about the Su-100 Y? I, I like to call it the, uh, the fucking Shrek tank. The Shrek tank. Because it's, green, it's greener than shit. It like, they or literally put like, 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 I'm talking swamp green. Because he's got layers. Stationary. <laughs> Say again, Glitch. The tank is in my pink stationary. It's in my pink. Ping it again, ping it again. Oh, the T-35, the, uh, legit, uh, IRL... Exact location. So Roger that, marking it now. Easy marker on tank is accurate, stationary. Rod, I'm trying to get to you. Where did you get shot from? Uh, my left, across the field. Your. I got on a shoot. Right. To the to the west. Coin stock. Yeah, yeah, I can I get, gotta go. I, get to you. I gotta go uh, finish my errands. Just wanted to say hi. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming, bud. You guys are losing. Yep. Guys are they, uh, I'll definitely be able to play Hell at least next time. I do have it unloaded. Probably do that one. Thank you, Jeffrey. What well, uh, other uh, goofy tanks? Uh, the, this is Germany had some weird tanks. I mean, my favorite. Bombing run. Ah, uh, behind us, behind us. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm dead. I'm okay. He probably pushed us while we were down. Have you heard the legend of the Taz 44M? How look it up? Taz 44 M. The only Taz I know is Tasmania. <laughs> Oh yeah, the weird Hungarian one. Yeah, the weird Hungarian medium tank. Yeah, we are just straight up losing a. About get it. on point, get on point, boys. The people thought it was a um. Spawn an OP and get in there. They thought, they thought that shit was a fucking tank destroyer. It just kind of looks like they ripped off. Is the heavy bender? Is the bender still alive? This is it. It's just us.
Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to go out there, but stay there. Pop us. Okay. East, oh, he fucking flanked me. Fuck. Or there were two of them. I'm down. Behind I'm down. the wall east when you spawn. Uh, North Beach is getting camped. Be advised, northern spawn on beach is being camped. Is there a commander? Uh, there is. No, there is not. We have no commander. Literally? Oh, no. Mm, I always get the itch to do it, but, like, we're already losing. Weird Fuck it, I'll do it. I'm going to switch over to commander. Weird weapon systems during the Second World War. All right, boys. How can I help? All right, we just lost our uh, squad lead, but he is commander now. So maybe that'll help. Okay, hold on. I need to listen to... I need to listen to the fucking... Anybody get a uh, new garrison? Or Fuck it, just nade it. Just nade everything. Oh, we lost that post. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna lower Jeffrey right now because I need to focus on the, on the audio. I'm gonna try to make my way back home to the last point and put up a defensive one there. Yeah, okay, spawn at HQ one. Recon plane coming over. Place a garrison on Red House. I'd like to add the fact that the Hungarian in the Second World War designed an anti-air rocket called the Succubus. Okay. I can't hear shit. Oh no, we're, we're surrendered. Yeah. Come on boys, we can still do this. Rise so fucking mighty. Alright boys, we got some fucking supplies coming in. Start building defenses. Hold like your fucking life depends on it. Anybody up for getting a tank? <sighs> I can't hear shit. I see an enemy tank on the Fox marker. Roger that. Accurate? Not accurate, but I uh, saw the tank. Understood. Enemy. Enemy painter. Fox marker, accurate. Take an empty fire at the artillery. Airhead being pulled on northwestern side of AA battery. D squad, you're the closest one to it, right here. Uh, Bent is uh, destroyed.
Friendly airhead is on the way, boys. Decoy ammo drop coming in, too. Recon, can we get their artillery silenced? Uh, they are not firing now. I, I will go there if they do. Airhead is active. Airhead is active. Move in. Enemy garrison accurate uh, on the garrison marker. North of AA. Roger that. We can still take this. Oh, that airhead's in barbed wire. Heads up. Sorry about that. That's my bad. And there's air fire on slow and spawn in the deck. I ain't got enough nodes to do much here, boys. Recon plane coming in. Okay, there's two MGs on airhead, one to the north, one to the uh, one to the south. Heads up. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, can I get a uh, new medium tank mid spawn? Roger that. Medium tank, middle spawn. Copy. Thank you. It's not allowing me to do it. Oh. One second. Done. Ready to go. Thank you. Okay, I'm no longer deafened. Sorry, boys. I I needed to focus. No, you're good. No worries. You're good. No worries. Do we need to have artillery or precision yeah, strike? Play no precision strike available as of now. No. Uh, artillery uh, calling in on the artillery mark, please. The garrison right there. If anybody wants to grab artillery, that now be the time. I'm gonna run back. Dropping right in front of you. Roger. 
Oh, fuck's sake. They're in spawn. We can't even go to Arnie. Yeah, I just got my ass killed trying to do that. Easy to command. We hold the radar station where the garrison is for now. We are under assault from the north. Roger. Enemy Gary down in G3. <laughs> Good work. I expect there to be a garrison weapons. between WN4 and A. Commander, a to I am be a backup carry for that one. So we're kind of talking to each other? Fair enough. Red Roof House does not have a garrison anymore. Clear it. Bravo, you're it. Get in there and take their lunch money. This might be GG, boys. Take, take their ration tickets. Keep it up, squad. Just keep trying. Of course, Baker is composed of two dudes. Everyone's running away from uh, Red Roof. Uh, is there an enemy tank somewhere? Easy to command. Do you want us to fall back? Fall back. Go to Red Roof House as fast as possible. Copy that. The defense is on Red Roof House, boys. Okay, squad, anyway, on my uh, Fox Barker. Drop some supplies on Red Roof to build a Gary. You're probably back to the beaches. Supplies being dropped right now. How did that happen? How did that happen? My question. Did the Germans just pull a reserve ten Panzer army out of If you spawn, spawn at Red Roof House or HQ2. That bomb is on this road, by the way. Spawn at HQ2, take back Red Roof House. Uh, right, just spawn as close as you can, uh, fall back to Red Roof House. Right there, she's right there. We'll need more than a bit of encouragement, sir. I'm aware. This might be GG, lads. Take them out with a big Rambo bomb and run. I don't even have enough for that. Oh. I have two nodes total. Sorry, three nodes, one for each, and that's it. Bloody engineers, eh? Yeah. Red roof. Red roof in. It was an honor serving with all of you. GG. GG. We may not make it in time, but it was a good, good effort. Yeah, it was a good effort. What happened? They just, just get, they just made it. They got fucked. Grenades. Yeah, there's there wasn't much we could do at the end there. Yeah, it was too too little, too late. Yeah. I tried to step up as much as I could, but. Yeah, I saw it. It's unfortunate. Command staff just went to shit. Well, it, oh, they you left know, to take a shit and never came back. Commander resigned. Commander resigned, and then no one was doing anything because we were losing. So I had to try and step up. We almost got battery, so that's something. Commander rolls worst defensive ever. <laughs> Has to leave field command. You yeah. step up. You step down. This is, I want to say, my second defeat as commander so far in my 300 hours of this game. This doesn't count, though. Hold on. No, it's still a defeat. I still lost. It counts. It's fine. I don't need to make excuses. It is what it is. If there's one thing I've learned from Foxhole is that sometimes you win, sometimes you lose completely. It's over. All hope is lost. It is. It is how it is. You will gain Thunderfoot, you lost Thunderfoot. Oh, look at that! The Collies lost Thunderfoot. About fucking time. We've been fucking... Really? They just actually they just... in the game? Yes, we just fucking... They just... That place was... Lo I was reporting on that, and it was, it was we fucking just... loaded. We... No, we finally just smacked it. Those two bunker bases they had to the stuff with the storm can, that's gone too.
Congratulations. <laughs> All right, I think we've been bashing our head against that fucking town for two days straight. I think I'm gonna call it for today, boys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you all. I'm in here and see you fucking foxhole boomers in here. (laughs) Uh, I'll 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 let you know if um I'll let you know if I do come back to foxhole for a for a tour. Come back anytime, guys. I'm ready to fucking. We're always here, ready to kill some and get some. Yeah. All right, boys. Take care. Take care.